Hi friends, I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will discuss about how to unload data from Snowflake into S3 bucket. Okay. In previous video, I have explained you how to unload data from Snowflake to your local system. In that, what we have done, we have used our get command via SnowSQL. Okay. So also in that case, we have used our internal staging area if you haven't watched that video so i will share the link in the description so that it will it will help you to better understand this video okay now so first of all like uh, to load any data from snowflake first of all that data should be present in your snowflake okay so, so what we have done we have created one table okay and in that table we have inserted three records okay let me do this thing we have done this thing okay now so as we have three rows in the, uh, in my table now our goal is to load this data into my s3 bucket okay yeah. so what we have what we can done so simply what we are supposed to do first of all we have to create one file format okay like in which format we are supposed to unload data okay so this is my file format so in this format we are supposed to unload my data now once we are done with our file format so then as in previous videos we have unloaded data from your our internal staging area so in that case we haven't used any storage integration but as this is our external cloud environment or any other cloud environment apart from snowflake we have to create one storage integration okay so before creating storage integration this is the my syntax create or replace storage integration storage integration name type is my external stage storage provider is s3 okay enable equal to 2 it means and these are two important things first thing is storage aws role arn and storage allowed locations so where we will get this th this thing so whenever you are logged into your snowflake account first of all you have to go to this iam okay identity and access management okay once you are going to this thing you have to click on this roles icon and you here you have to create your role, role okay so here okay once we are done with this part you have to just click on this require external id okay so for the timing i am putting this something 9090 some random stuff okay and just you have to click on this part okay then you, you have to provide uh, your s3 sorry s3 full access major s3 full access we are providing here okay okay so now i have to provide my name of my role then snow some role you have to provide okay snow unload i have put my role now here okay if you see this 9090 things which we i have put it here it is coming here okay i will later come to this point then we have to done this and just create this role okay i have created this role so after creating of this role you will get this arn number you have to just copy this arn number okay and just paste it here okay do not try to use this arn number what i am using right now for my account okay it will not work in your case okay okay we are done this part now next thing storage allowed location it means from s3 bucket which for from which in which folder it is supposed to load uh, unload my data okay so after that what where we have to go we have to go your s3 bucket simply okay inside the s3 bucket okay i have already created one uh, uh folder so a, a bucket or okay and inside that bucket i have this one folder like unload okay so i had what i you can just go click okay and after that you can just copy url uri okay and just put it here okay we are done this part simply okay now let me run this storage integration thing okay once we are done this part we have to just click on this describe storage integration okay so it will provide you two things first of all it will provide you storage aws im user arn 
an external id a storage aws external id okay this is the role arn which i have already provided so these two things are important i am user arn and external id just click it here okay and just copy it here okay now i have to go to my again i have to go to this i am okay this role and snow unload okay then i have to click on this trust relationship and edit trust policy okay i have created these things through my root account so i have to just update this part okay and again external id just copy this and this instead of this 9090 which you have provided earlier i have to just put it here okay we are done this part and update the policy i think we are done this thing okay so uh, we have created my storage integration part we are done now after that now last step is our create or replace st staging area so create or replace stage stage name and url it means this stage will point to this url okay and to create the connection what we have used here storage integration it means this is to uh, this staging area external staging area will point to this url and inside that url uh, how we can we are creating a connection we are creating that connection using this s3 integration and file format my csv unload which we have created earlier just put it here okay so we are done this part now first of all let me see whether there is file in my any staging area or not list at the rate right now there is no file in my staging area now let me just simple and copy into my staging and just test thing test means my table name okay you will see copy into staging then test name now you see this uh, by running this list command it is showing me this file now it means after that you have to go to this s3 just okay and this file should come into your staging area into your s3 bucket you will see this is the file which you have used earlier okay so this is the very uh, let me show you that file also so this is just a file okay so this is the very simple thing okay these are just one type setup which we have to perform in case we are trying to uh, like uh, unload data into my s3 bucket okay via snowflake so that's all from this video thank you